let's pick up with coterminal angles. The uh, previous section we found that the last two exercises, or the last exercise, led us to believe that question number three and question number six were coterminal angles. So the measures of those two angles were negative 210 degrees and also 510 degrees, which was positive. Why are these coterminal? Let's find out. The, direct, the definition of coterminal angles are angles that share the same terminal side. We found that both of these angles had a terminal side in quadrant 2 and had the same reference angle of 30 degrees. In order to identify whether or not a pair of angles are coterminal, what we can do is we can add or subtract multiples of 360. What happens if we add 360 to negative 210? Adding 360 to negative 210 degrees gives us 150 degrees. So another coterminal angle to negative 210 would be 150. So now are these all three of these angles coterminal? What happens when I add 360 to 150 degrees? So 300 and 100 makes 400 and 60 and 50 makes 110. 400 and 110 gives you 510 degrees. So the coterminal angles that we would figure out for those two examples, so negative 210 would be coterminal with positive 150, would be coterminal with positive 510 degrees, and so on and so forth. We can keep adding 360, and each time we add 360 degrees, we get another coterminal angles because 360 degrees would represent another full rotation in your circle. Um, we're going to be talking about circles a little bit later, but when I say, you know, in a circle, it means one full revolution. All right, next, determine whether or not each pair of angles represent coterminal angles. We can do this by adding and subtracting multiples of 360. So 150 and 30, let's add 360 together. If I add 360 to this, that gets me back to what we had 510 in our previous exercise. So I don't, that doesn't really help me figure out if 30 is coterminal. So why don't we subtract 360 instead? If I subtract 360 from 150, that gives me negative 210. Now, I already went past this angle. So these are not coterminal angles because adding and subtracting 360 didn't get me uh, either of these numbers, all right? Or really didn't get me the 30. How about question two? Let's add 360 to negative 300. Let's add 360. If we need to do it more than once, we will. That gives me 60 degrees. Wait, look, we have a match. So I know for sure that number two, these are coterminal angles because adding 360 would end up, the terminal side would end up in the same spot. 60 would be somewhere here and negative 300 would end up sit in the same spot with the same terminal, the same terminal side. The picture here gives you two angles. They give you negative 240 and positive 120. These are coterminal angles. Again, they share the same terminal side in quadrant two somewhere, and they have the same reference angle of 60 degrees. Let's do questions three and four real quickly. Question number three, are these coterminal angles? Let's add and subtract 360. Now, I don't wanna add, that will get me farther away from the second angle, so let's subtract this time. Subtract, that gets me to negative 90. Um, not sure if I need to subtract again. Let's subtract one more time. Oh, you know what? Excuse me, I didn't recognize that 450 was positive. I don't know what I was doing here, I made a mistake. So let's subtract 360, I get positive 90. And now let's subtract 360 again, and I get negative 270 degrees. Okay, since it matches, then yes, these are co-terminal angles. The last one, if I add 360, instead of subtract, it'll get me closer. Adding 360 degrees gives me 280 degrees, which is not the same, so these are not coterminal angles. All right, in our next section, in our next section, we're going to be given an angle and then lots of directions. We're being given an angle, we're going to draw it. We're going to identify its reference angle. We're going to find one positive and one negative coterminal angle. Now, in our homework, we might get some different set of directions in a delta math where they are want you to give you uh, they want you to represent your positive angle something between 0 and 360 and your negative angle between negative 360 and 0. Since uh, in the beginning we said like there are an infinite number of these coterminal angles so if we want our answers to match sometimes the directions might say and restrict our answers to be between 0 and 360 degrees or negative 360 degrees 
and 0. So if it's positive or if it's negative, um, we would have two different answers. And we were supposed to give one positive and one negative. So let's first dive right into exercise 1. 120 degrees. Here's your initial side, always the positive x-axis. 90 degrees and 120 would be 30 past. So here's my terminal side. The angle of rotation is counterclockwise. Okay, this is 120 degrees. Now our reference angle is formed not with the y-axis but with the x-axis. Our reference angle is 60 degrees. So letter B, your reference angle is 60 degrees. Let's find one positive and one negative coterminal angle. Now I don't want to give the same answer like 120 because although it's between 0 and 360, I mean it's the same thing. Let's add 360 to 120. So let's do 120 plus 360. That gives me 480. So 480 degrees is a positive coterminal angle. It's one full revolution and another 120 degrees after it. Let's find a negative coterminal angle by subtracting 360. Negative 240 is a negative coterminal angle and it's between negative 360 and 0. Okay. Let's move on to question two. Might need some room for some work, so let me erase this. Now our angle is negative, so we want to start drawing and rotating it in the clockwise fashion. Negative 90, negative 180, negative 135 is exactly halfway between these two axes. Our reference angle always formed with the x-axis and the terminal side, that would be here. Our reference angle is 45 degrees. Part C. Let's find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. To do this, let's add 360 to negative 135. So let's do that. 225 degrees would be a positive coterminal angle that ends up in the same location. Now a negative coterminal angle, like I can't use negative 135, it's the same. So I need to start here go to negative 135 and then do another full circle. So that's why I'm going to subtract another 360 from it. When I do that, I get negative 495 degrees. I feel like that fulfills our requirement for this exercise. 1080 degrees, positive. So I'm going to go 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630, 720, 810, whew, 900, 990, 1080. Okay, it ends up being that the initial side and the terminal side are exactly on top of each other. Notice I put like two arrowheads so that somebody would see that it's not just uh, unfinished. Again, another thing we need to do is draw the spiral. We went not once, not twice, but three full revolutions around the outside. So this is our angle of rotation. What is the reference angle? Now it's formed by the x-axis and the terminal side. What happens if the x-axis is the terminal side and the initial side. Does it have a reference angle? In the previous section we found that there was one exercise that didn't have a reference angle but the reference angle is zero degrees. A reference angle has to be an acute angle. The only reason we didn't have a reference angle in an exercise is because it was equal to 90 or a right angle. Zero is an acute angle so it does have a reference angle of zero. Next, let's find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. Now, can I say that zero is a coterminal angle that's positive or negative? Since it's neither positive nor negative, then we need to use something between zero and 360 or between negatives 360 and zero. So a coterminal angle, let's add 360 or subtract 360. If I subtract 360 from this, and I subtract it again and subtract it again, I would get that positive 360 degrees is a positive coterminal angle or 720. You only had to give one. If I subtract 360 once, I get 720 or multiple times. So either of these answers would work. A negative coterminal angle, well, I could just use negative 360 for this one as well. If I keep subtracting and subtracting and subtracting 360, our first negative coterminal angle would be 360. Okay, three more on the bottom. We're going to draw them, find the reference angle, find one positive and one negative coterminal angle, starting with exercise four. 675 degrees, we're going to end up 0, 
90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 30. If this is 630, this is 720. Halfway in between 630 and 720 would be our terminal side. Okay. So our reference angle would be 45 degrees. I didn't forget to do the spiral. Since it went all the way around once and then ended up here, it was a positive direction. This would be the angle for its rotation. Let's add and subtract 360 to this number. If I add sub or subtract, actually, if I subtract, I'll still end up with a positive answer. Subtracting 360 gives me 315 degrees. And subtracting another 360 would give me negative 45 degrees. These are the coterminal, one positive, one negative coterminal angles for this exercise, negative 45 and positive 315, sorry about that. So number five, negative 100 degrees, initial side, negative 90, negative 100. Our reference angle wouldn't be this 10, it would be this 80 here. To find coterminal angles, let's add 360 and subtract 360. If I add 360, I get 260. So 260 degrees would be a coterminal angle. If I subtract 360, I get negative 460. This would be a negative coterminal angle. Your answers might vary, but these are some of the ones that might you might um, get first according to our directions. Last one, question number six, 72 degrees. The initial side always stays the same. 72 degrees will end up in quadrant one, closer to the y-axis than the x-axis. 72 degrees would be its own reference angle. Add 360 to it, we get 432 degrees. Subtract 360, we get negative 288 degrees. This would be one positive and one negative coterminal angle. This, this wraps up our second video. Next, we're moving on to what is a radian.